clean topology. Is it a real thing or is it just a nonsense? Let's talk about it. I saw this comment recently on my YouTube channel and it's kind of sad because it's obvious that there are a lot of people out there completely confused about hard surface modeling, the subject of topology, sub-D modeling, N-guns, bullion and all that malarkey. So here are the facts. To number one, schools are lying to you about the requirement of all quad topology for 3D. They operate on outdated knowledge mostly lazy and inefficient teachers gonna tell you that and second most people on the net are so full of shit especially when they claim you need to you know use all quads to solve all the problems in 3d modeling they're just noobs who learn one or two things and come up with these radical statements that are just complete rubbish now what i want to do in this video is talk about misconception of clean topology once you understand what clean topology is, you understand what to use and when. Firstly, clean topology doesn't mean quad topology at all. Let me repeat that. Clean topology does not mean quad topology. That is completely wrong or misleading at best. Clean topology is topology that follows a purpose. Now, what does that mean? Let's say that I'm creating a hard surface game asset that will not be bent or will not be deformed will not be used in VFX production. So it doesn't have to deform, right? Or it doesn't have to be damaged. Let's say that it's a gun and it's gonna be used as a game asset, hard surface game asset, and its parts gonna be animated, but not deformed. If so, then you can use as many end guns as you fucking want, because it doesn't matter. In fact, you should not use quads because it will lose you precious time and time is money. So in this case, clean topology would be a topology that delivers clean shading and allows you for easy unwrapping of the mesh so you can texture it without any issues. And guess what? We have an entire course, a game asset course, that shows you how to do this, including modeling, triangulation, baking, texturing, importing to Unreal Engine, the whole lot. So it's not only possible, but it's a very well-known and very often used tactic in game development because it's simply time efficient the bottom line here is that if you don't need to use sub d don't do it because you're shooting yourself in the leg you're going to spend way more time doing unnecessary work that no one gives a shit about and more importantly you will not be paid for your lost time now remember studios and clients gonna pay you for results they don't care how you did it all they need is someone who is efficient and know what they're doing so the more efficient you are and delivering whatever you need to deliver the better you are at your job and therefore you can charge more money now knowing which tool to use and when is not important it's vital to your success as a professional now humans are social creatures and unfortunately it has its repercussions most people are weak-minded and follow the trends so don't be dumb and think for yourself if people are gonna jump you know out of the window would you follow them you know, like a sheep all this woke nonsense pc crap you know social media trash content and any other dumb invention of 21st century is only making people more stupid and weak so don't follow like a muppet pause for a second and use your brain ask yourself would you use a hammer to make a sandwich i fucking hope not but does this make a hammer less of a tool than a knife well, no, because its purpose is different, right? Completely different. And same goes to topology. So stop listening to people who have no idea what they're talking about and think when you're modeling Blender. Now, let me show you a quick video I prepared for you that's going to explain a bit deeper the concept of clean topology, and I hope you're gonna understand it a bit better. So again, going back to clean topology, if I have this model here and I'm gonna you know, put a bevel on it, and I'm gonna go to my matcap, right? Yeah, let's say this one. I have clean shading everywhere. There's no distortions, no problems, no issues. But I got angles. But it doesn't matter because my goal here is clean shading of this model. So in this case, this is clean topology for this specific model for this specific purpose. Now, if you need to subdivide something because you're making something organic or something that's gonna deform or something that's gonna be used in a pipeline for a very specific reason, for example, brought into ZBrush to, I don't know, add some damage, whatever. Yes, you're gonna need quads, but clean topology doesn't also mean just quads. It's way more complicated than that because I can create a quad-based model that's going to deform like shit, and I'm gonna show you. So if I'm gonna grab this plane here 
and I'm going to extrude it here and do that and I'm going to you know basically create a bevel here and then I'm going to create a quad topology here but quad topology it's not gonna be even okay this is quad topology right you can see quads everywhere I can run loops whichever way I want but these quads are not even right so watch what happens when I'm going to shade it smooth right and I'm going to rotate it on X and then rotate it on Y just uh, rotate it just a little bit on the Y axis like this okay no rotation and then I'm going to uh, bend it with hard ups like this at maybe one level of subdivision and then let's see the mud cap right do you see what I mean that is not clean shading that is distorted shading and the reason for that is because a we have uneven size topology two the topology flow doesn't follow the curvature because our topology flow goes from top to bottom right and our curvature actually goes diagonally so this this topology doesn't support this curvature these loops here right these loops here they should be uh they should be going like this because that's how that's how curvature is working here so your topology here works against your curvature so this is not clean topology even though we have all quads so the answer isn't that simple okay you need to have topology that's gonna follow a purpose so if i want to bend something in a specific way right so let's say i'm gonna grab this plane here and i want to i want to let's just make it larger and i'm gonna subdivide it so let me just subdivide it you know i don't know twice and i'm going to curve this right on on this y-axis right so let me apply a rotation and uh cur uh, curve this with hard ups see now my topology actually follows the curvature so that is correct topology for this purpose of this plane of this piece of a model do you understand so the flow here supports the curvature and now when i'm going to shade it smooth i don't even have to subdivide this shit, right because i'm gonna have perfect clean shading in here you can see that it's flawless why again because topology follows the purpose so not only the size of quads is you know relevant to the uh, angle of the curvature but also you got the flow of topology following the curvature that's really important so that is clean topology for this specific purpose right and guns wouldn't work with here but also other type of quads wouldn't work in here if i have these quads again you know curving this way look what happens to my in my shading it gets fucked because my flow again doesn't support um, this uh, curvature and my quads are an even sized. Endgons are great as they offer an easy and intuitive entry to Blender or hard surface of any time in any other software that uses polygons. Endgons are an exclusive to Blender and they are one of the you know three primary polygon types used in polygon modeling. You got triangles, you got quads, you got endgons. Now understanding these three types of polygons and differences between them is crucial to effectively leveraging them in your projects. Endgons are widely used across the game industry concept design industrial design and so on take the last one for example right so industrial design much of industrial design work is being done in CAD do you think CAD gives a shit about topology when these CAD models are imported to blender or even used as such right they come loaded with endgons and complex topology which is perfectly acceptable because the model functionality and shading is what truly matters not its topology type this is where I get baffled when I see folks ranting about needing everything to be in quads or some kind of, you know, clean topology nonsense. The only thing that matters is what works for the purpose of your model. Topology is a tool. Remember that. It's a tool. Again, if you're making a sandwich, you're not going to be using a hammer. You need the right tool for the job. So this isn't about one tool being better or worse, right? It's about what's appropriate for the task at hand and your job is to know what to use now if you're a beginner then listen up and listen up good when you're starting out 
Grasp the basics. Get your hands dirty with the foundations of 3D modeling, basics of design, detailing, rendering, presentation, etc. This is exactly what we teach in our free jumpstart hard surface course for Blender, which already helped way over 80,000 people. So go ahead, click the link in the video description and grab it. The course is free. Now, once you're in, read what people are saying about the course and why it is so helpful. It is simple, direct, fluffy and short. It will get you up to speed in no time without messing with your head with some clean topology bullshit. Now, once you grasp all the basics of 3D in Blender, then you can move on to more complex stuff like topology nuances. Don't jump straight into sub-D modeling without a good grip on the basics, it will only confuse you more. Sub-D modeling is more complex and abstract and forces you to think logically and plan ahead, which is exactly what you should not worry about when you are starting out. You will get overwhelmed and discouraged and possibly give up. Now here's what you should do. Go ahead, join our Discord. We have over 6,000 people there, including many folks who work in the industry as modelers, pipeline managers, freelancers, designers, you name it, we have it. Now go and ask them about topology and you will find out they will tell you exactly what I just said. Don't get hung up on the topology purity crusade because again, it's created by people of a low IQ or low knowledge. Understand your tools, know your objectives and apply the right techniques to achieve your goal. That is how you make true progress in 3D, not by obsessing over whether you're using n-guns or quads. Hope it's helped. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.